Folks, how you doing today? So about a year ago, we were doing some picking in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, went to a couple places, finally went to some collector's house, and I was waltzing through his garage, and I seen this. So I bought this about a year ago. Uh, I believe, and I'm quite certain, it's a 1940s, 1950s Indian replica motorcycle ride, which would have went on a carousel on a carnival ride. I think it may have been kind of like a merry-go-round situation where this, along with maybe fire engines, police cars, boats, and it would have rent in a circle. This is a very cool, cool, cool piece. I didn't know what to do with it. I'm like, okay, should I restore it? Shouldn't I restore it? You know, the whole patina thing is in with the rat rods. Everybody's digging these gas pumps. We're doing some gas pumps now and patina in them. So I thought I would leave this as a really nice patinaed piece. So what we did is we built a nice platform for it here and then I married it with a cast iron stand. So this is an antique cast iron stand I married for it. We bolted it all down. We wired it up with some six volt light bulbs. So it's now running on six volts. Uh, it's just absolutely super. And then we clear coated the whole thing. So I am saying to you guys who like Indian motorcycles and uh, you have either an Indian motorcycle dealership, Harley Davidson dealership, this belongs in your entry. I mean, if you, you know, you guys should absolutely have this when you enter into the store, this should be sitting there. I'm telling you that people will be taking pictures with it. Kids are gonna wanna sit on it, but you're not gonna let them do that. But you're gonna have people fall all over this thing. That's how cool it is. It's all clear coated, it's all rusted up. We left the seat, we left everything, we lit it up, original lights. Uh, as you see, we put a really nice vintage headlight on it, right, with a, uh, a red prism here, as well as it lights up. Jeff's gonna come around here and show you the other side of it, which has a really cool green prism in it. So this thing shows really, really, really well. Uh, I would have this in a heartbeat if I could. Uh, I guess I do for a short time. Anyway, Indian, 40s, 50s, carnival ride, all patinaed out, clear coated, mounted on an appropriate stand, which we also colored up correctly. Uh, it's a killer, killer piece. Don't know where you'd find another one of these. I'm always looking for these type of things and uh, I just don't find that many of them, if just very few. Anyway, beautiful piece. Somebody's gonna have a real art piece for your house or your dealership or your motorcycle shop or your car or your man cave. Great piece. Uh, we can get it uh, blanket wrapped and shipped out to you, no problem. I will probably disassemble because this is simply bolted, I'll probably take that off, set it on a pallet, put the stand beside it, boom, get it wrapped up, have it white glove delivered to you, and uh, that'll be that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Great piece. Uh, enjoy your day. Great. Also, be good. Any kind of retail operation, just look good in any kind of uh, <laughs> show or window or anything, whether you're selling jeans or like gifts or motorcycles, it's just a cool piece that will draw attraction. These guys sell antiques. This is their store. We're picking, we're bringing stuff every day, in and out, in and out, in and out. We're, we're, we're shaking and baking. These are their customers. Give me the rundown on the GMC. This lived in a bar in Ghent in Belgium. Follow Jim and Jeff from 9 to 5 or after hours as they buy, sell, and restore the coolest stuff for the coolest collectors worldwide.